If you're looking for a nice quality wine, but without that hefty price tag, it can be really tricky to know where to start. So this morning, we are taking the guesswork out of it with the help of Somalia Debbie Shing, who is here with some of her palette and wallet pleasing picks, <laughs> including a non-alcoholic bottle that we were gonna start with. Good morning to you. Good morning, yes, okay, cheers. So, yes, cheers. Here, what are we starting with here? Yeah, so this is Nozeco. So it is a dry sparkling wine from France. And um, okay, cheers. Do you try yeah, it? I cheers. do want to try it. Mm. It's so, a no. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So surprisingly, mm. this contains zero alcohol. And you know, like many of us that are health conscious at the beginning of the year, especially after <laughs> indulging over the holidays. That's right. We want to be a little bit uh, more, I guess, conservative maybe right. in our picks. For me, what I love about the trend of low and non-alcoholic products is. Um, I want to mix it in into my, you know, regular regime of just having a great life and enjoying. So right. this still gives me the satisfaction of a bubbly, but of course, without any of the alcohol. So I would pick this for cocktails even, um, as well as enjoying on its own. And price point would be around what? This is actually only around $10. Seriously? So, yep, a really amazing okay. value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, what that's do you think? awesome. Oh, I like it. Yeah. I like it. I wouldn't have known there was no alcohol in there, to be yeah, honest. Totally. It's... Yeah, totally. Until later after my 17th, and I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay. yeah. uh, let's talk white wine. Yeah, of course. So um, River Lore Sauvignon Blanc is from New Zealand, and um, this is a dry, crisp, refreshing, really, really lovely white wine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's try. Mm -hmm. mm. So... That one has alcohol in it. This has a little bit mm -hmm. of alcohol, yes, but um, it's lovely. A lot of people refer to regions like Chablis or Sancerre mm -hmm. as the reference point for dry white wines, and um, New Zealand is a great substitute for that because yes. you can still get um, that really light, refreshing. Um, texture because mm -hmm. of the cool climate um, without the hefty price point. So this is just under $20. Okay. Um, to me, it's equally citrusy and, um, you know, high in acid and refreshing, goes well with food, um, just like you would um, with a Chablis or something. It makes me feel summertime-y, this, totally. this flavor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I do this thing where in the winter I switched over to reds. Yes. <laughs> which I love to do because it makes me feel warm. What do you have? What's your selection for us? Yes. Uh, so New Zealand is so nice. I picked it twice. This is the New Zealand <laughs> Pinot Noir okay. from Stonely and Pinot Noir is a really fickle grape and we know it um, I guess most famously in really premium regions like Burgundy or Oregon um, but the great thing about the climate um, in New Zealand is that um, it's cool. Nothing can kill you. Yeah. <laughs> we know that right? Okay yeah, sorry yes. but when it comes to wine. Yes um, so it's not as mm. afflicted by really severe weather events like it is in, you know, northern parts of France, like, you know, like Burgundy and Sancerre. Got it. So, um, yeah, really more, much more accessible style here. Um, and this is just around $20 as well. This, this is really nice. Thank you. I yeah. like this. This may be my selection for the weekend. Oh, yes, amazing. Yes, I really like it. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, and we've got another red to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about this one. So I always like to include something Canadian, and my Canadian yeah. wine pick of the day is Trius Red. Um, and this is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot, uh, which we typically in the wine world, we would call a Bordeaux blend. Mm. And of course, um, in the Bordeaux region, which is very, very famous for being, you know, as expensive as thousands of dollars uh, per bottle, mm -hmm. um, you know, often that comes with a lot of history and prestige, of course, but of course. you can find amazing examples um, here, right here in our own backyard that are equally worthy of being, you know, a gift or something premium to enjoy. This is lovely. Yeah, and, and this also, is just um, oh, yeah. a little bit over $20. A little bit of, I'm looking at the years, too, a lot of 2020, right? Is that what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, we're starting to get Wait, there's into... something good out of 2020? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm telling you, you gotta taste it. Debbie, always good to have you on. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. All right, we'll be right back, everybody. It's delicious. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.